Right, hey guys, welcome back to Hermits Reloaded. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so last time we got working on uh, the the auto crafting, I've done a, I've done a bit since then. You can see I still got some stuff on the floor there, but that's you know that's ne neither here nor there. Um, but if you look down here, we got a bunch of these guys. So I was thinking about sandwiching them, you know, just sticking them together. But but then you know, like I could do like two together, and then a space. And then two together and a space. Um, I just decided, you know what? We're just going to split them all, right? That way we could just get to it, you know, from from any kind of direction we need. Um, crafted four more storage, uh, crafting storage and co-processing units. So now we have four of those to choose from. We can have several crafts going at once. Uh, obviously, we need to get better stuff going on in, you know, for the processing and all that kind of stuff. But that's, you know, that that'll come. Um, but today, I think we're going to work on getting some storage up in here. Uh, so I made some impulse item duct. We're going to come like this. Right. Very good. And then we're going to go with some of the, um, I think we're going to go like this. No, I don't want you there. All right, so the reason we're going to do it like this is just in case I need to add another pipe coming up here to pull and another pipe here to pull. Um, and then we're going to go like this. So we're going to have quite a bit of storage. Obviously, it's going to continue on down that way. Uh, but this is basically how it's going to go. Uh, now, the problem is we got to lock. <laughs> we got to lock all of these things. Um, there are there are things from Yabba. Yabba. Uh, there's like a, a wrench. I don't know. I, I think that just like turns the barrels and stuff. I don't know if that like barrel wrench. All right. So let's see. I think this just like turns it and stuff. I think we can use this to pick up the barrels. Yeah. So that's the thing. Uh, but what if we just right click? Okay. Yeah. That turns it. Okay. So that's, hmm. it's not what we need. Uh, the other things, like the, the barrel painter, you can, you know, make it look different. Uh, the barrel hammer, I'm not really sure what that one does. But, I mean, there there's options. So I think what we're going to actually do is, you know what, we're just going to cut across here. I wasn't going to do it right now, but we're going to do it right now. Whatever. All right, so... Something like that, right? I mean, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> kind of. Kind of a lot of stuff. Um, that's going to be a ton of upgrades, right? <laughs> At the interdimensional type guys. All right, are you going to play nice? Nice. Okay. That's the good thing about these these things here. Like, if I take it out here, I can replace it with one from over there. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so uh, I've got these guys here. So th these are actually going to go. At least one of them is going to go there. I can't remember how how many slots these have. So if we just slap it there or whatever. All right. So yeah, we're going to need capacity cards. All right, capacity. Capacity. There we go. I do have those uh, set for auto crafting. I have these set for auto crafting. I have these set for auto crafting. Auto crafting. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff set for auto crafting right now. Uh, and we're not even, you know, obviously scratched the surface on it. Okay. Boom. Does that? Yes. All right. So that's what I'm thinking. That should take care of most of that. If it doesn't, we can obviously add another one and just hook them together and then have one for, you know, part of it and the other one for part of it. Um... All right, so I think that's going to be fairly good for that. We do have 14 more. Um, right? And then this obviously can come down this way to connect to other stuff. Ooh, actually, you know what? I think... No, I think, I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna have a a black hole unit 
down here set up for uh, like cobblestone, dirt, gravel, that sort of thing. Um, and then I'm going to get the material stonework factory just producing cobblestone and putting it into that deep storage or, you know, that black hole unit. Yeah. So we actually, you know what? This isn't going to work. Crap. <laughs> oh, crap. I would literally need a storage bus for every single barrel. Because th this will work for just putting stuff into storage, but if I need to pull this stuff to craft something, there's no way this is going to be able to do that. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Crap. How did I not think about that? Like, that's... Mm. Okay, so I guess... I guess it's just, it's all going in AE, right? Why not? Why freaking not? Son of a... Hmm. I think I'm going to still stick it here. This will be the, you know, over in the quarry world or whatever. It'll be dumping into this chest from the drill. And then AE will just pull out of this. So we'll just put import buses on it. Maybe with one ex one capacity and then speed. We, we won't ever, <laughs> ever need that. Ah, oh, that's... So, how did I not think about that? And then over here, though, we are going to put an export bus on this chest here. So we're going to go... Hmm. You know, we could just go into that guy. Right, and then we could use this chest just like if we get some in our inventory. Like if we go mining or we go out on an adventure, we find some diamond ore, we could just toss it in there. But we can export directly to that guy. I think that's a better idea. Like so, and like so. Uh, so inside that guy, we're gonna put. Capacity, capacity, and speed. And then obviously we'll just filter stuff in there. We can put more on the other sides if we need to. Uh, we'll obviously get some facades and stuff, put it on there. Um, but stuff like, uh, you know, like diamond, emerald, maybe maybe glowstone, redstone, nether quartz, all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Wait, isn't there? Hold on. Black hole controller. <clears throat> it can hold nine black hole units and access its items. That means nine times of items. So does it have to be all the same items? Hmm. Hmm. I have none of that. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting question. Hmm. Because if, if that is the case, hmm, that might be, that might be something to look into right there. Uh, but since our storage there is kind of, <sighs> okay, uh, I guess we should run some cable. I don't, I mean, I don't really need to run it over there, but that, I mean, that's where I was going to have storage. So whatever. Let's just run this over. I mean, it, it'll be good to have, you know, this over here anyway. I mean, maybe I could just switch it and do 
the processing over here or something. I don't know. Okay, so that's got to go over a little bit more. Let's see if I can guess where this is. All right, so we have this this outline here, a block, the wall, a block. So I'm going to guess right here. Nice. All right, so that's going to come down. Over. There we go. I need to fix that water. All right. And then this will go there. And then really all we need to do is head over to the quarry world and put that other ender chest at the end of the run and stuff will start to come in. And I don't know if we should auto process because, well, no, that should be fine. I was going to say, I don't know that we should auto process the ore. Uh, like the iron and diamond, or, you know, the iron, gold, lead, blah, 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 all that stuff. Because we might need the powder, but it should be okay, right? Because there's, I mean, there's a few recipes we need to powder. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Okay. So, like I said, all we should really have to do is this. And then it should start seeing this as its chest to put stuff in. Right? How fast is that going? Yeah, that should be more than more than enough. All right. And so, like I said, now that should spit into here, I think. I'd like to see it actually do it. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. It's the last... Well... Hmm. That's, that's about the only way I can think to do it. Just to make sure it's going where it's supposed to be going, you know? That'll pull in. Um, I am thinking, well, I mean, it's going pretty quick, honestly. It's not going, it's, that's not bad. Hopefully there's some, uh, some diamond and all that stuff in there somewhere. Actually, I think the diamond was, it's not there. I think it was in one of those. go I mean I guess there is a way we can guarantee it's gonna go in there right if we grab a crescent hammer no do something like that and some of these are like just empty so we don't even It's just extra chests, right? Right. Okay. So it's it's doing things, right? Like things are working. Uh, again, it sucks that... <laughs> but again, I don't know what that barrel connector is. Does it say anything? No. Hmm. We'll have to look into that, I feel like. Right? All right, guys. Uh, so I've done some work. Uh, so if you, if, <laughs> I meant to show you what I did in here. Uh, so we've got some stuff going on up in here. We've got some auto smelters. We've got uh, some magma crucibles and fluid transposers. This one is currently full of destabilized redstone <clears throat> uh, because we need that for um, signalum, 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 whatever. These guys here are set up to just you know auto process. Uh, the ores. Uh, and then in here I have the, the secondary output going out the back and into the storage. Uh, the reason I did that is because, you know, we get, you know, the, the recipes that require the dust, just like the signalum. 
And I figure we might as well have that, you know, some of that dust on hand just in case, right? Um, so you can see we've got, you know, we've got some iron in here and some stuff. Uh, you know, all of this is coming in from the 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 laser drill. Um, I did dig the laser drill down to bedrock, but it didn't make any kind of difference. Like, I was told that, you know, if I dig it down to bedrock, it'll go faster. Uh, no laser comes out from the bottom. So I don't think that's actually a thing <laughs> in this version of it. Uh, but you can see uh, some of these I did get the, in or the extra dimensional upgrade on. Uh, it was mostly these ones that get the most. Uh, I didn't put it on that one. I think I put it on one of these. No. All right, so it was just these guys here. Not that one, obviously, because, I mean, we've got 581 out of 4,000. And then this one, we've got 352 out of 4,000. So we're not in any kind of danger <laughs> of running out of room for those. Um, I do have uh, some more. Oh, they're done. Nice. All right, so I went ahead and told it to craft some more 64K. So there you go. 18. Uh, so that way we can finish filling these up. I'm going to take that out of there because it's absolutely useless. Um, I did. I put a story, a fluid storage in there, and it doesn't use it. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> There's no, like I, I thought there was a fluid crafter or something. Capacity card, very redstone acceleration. Like there's fluid storage, there's fluid interface, which is right there. Um, <clears throat> actually, no, that's the fluid terminal, right? Um, it doesn't. It, yeah, like I said, it doesn't do anything. Um, so I don't know. Like if I go in here and I go signalum, uh, so you can see we have a recipe in here for signalum. If I say craft twenty, I mean obviously it, you know it's not. It doesn't have copper. Uh, we're going to actually have to fix that. <clears throat> um, but the issue I run into is that... Um, it doesn't use... or Like, it doesn't make the, the destabilized redstone buckets. Uh, that's what it gets stuck on. And I don't know why. Like, there's, there's no reason it should get stuck on it. You know? Uh, because I have here... Uh, one empty bucket equals will craft one destabilized redstone bucket. Um, and so you can see I have it set where... Oh. <gasps> oh, that's the problem. Wow. Really? <laughs> Freaking really? Really? Did I do that? Oh my god, I did that, didn't I? Okay, so it'll, it'll work now. Son of a... <laughs> Right? You son of a... It... Yeah. Well, I mean, did it, though? Did it? Did it work? I mean, it didn't craft... Okay. Uh, let's get some more... Cooper. Come on, give me the Cooper. Hopefully we have enough silver left in there. We should. I think gold has a byproduct? No. Gold does the cinnabar or whatever. Uh, signalum. Let's grab that. Oh, wait. Do we have any more redstone buckets? I guess we could just test this. Let's say craft two. Next. Start. Okay. So, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Son of a... <sighs> it just... It, it just figures it's that simple. You know what I mean? It was just that simple. It was just a setting in here that I didn't even think about. Because let's think it's got an input. What am I doing wrong? And there it is. So if you run into the same issue, yeah, I mean, that was a dumb mistake is what that was. Uh, so you see, these are not upgraded at all. They don't need to be. Uh, so this one here holds 10 buckets. Uh, this one holds 10 buckets. So we've got, between the two, we've got 20 buckets of destabilized redstone. Uh, this one is dist er, energized glowstone. Um, and then, then I think this one's going to be ender pearls once I set it up. Uh, you know, for like enderium and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to, we're also going to have to teach the system how to make, uh, you know, like the, the pulverized versions of things because we're going to need it, right? We're going to need the pulverized copper. We're going to need it. So like we've got 
you know, a bit of silver. We got some iron. We got some nickel, um, platinum, lead. Um, I think the main, the, like the one we don't get is copper. Uh, nothing has the secondary of copper. And then you see we've got some gold. Which is unfortunate because copper, the secondary from copper is gold. The secondary from gold is cinnabar or whatever it's called. What is that called? Oh, is there? Oh, right there. Yeah, cinnabar. Is there a use for that other than quicksilver? Okay, I mean, we could use it that way. Or, yeah. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. 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 No, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, let's grab that and that. All right, we're gonna just we're just gonna cook this. I the system does know how to do it, but whatever. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so no, it's right there. So you, I think it's just twenty, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we're gonna have to teach the system. Well, I don't know. I think we're just gonna get uh, some more of those material stonework factories. Did that clear it? Can you? Oh, whatever. I don't care. All right. I mean, we've got we've got a bit of storage, right? Yeah, we've got we we're, we're still we you know we've barely touched that one, so I think I think we're doing okay <laughs> for right now. All right. So if we get uh, let's see, material stonework factory, we should know most of that. Obviously, the water bucket is going to be a bit of an issue. Uh, we should have a water bucket we could just throw in there. All right, so machine frame it knows, crafting table it knows, I think iron pick it knows, lava bucket it doesn't know. We don't have that set up. But most of that should be good to go. We could probably grab a bucket out of here. It does know how to craft buckets. And then we'll come in here. A lot of these guys are, are getting full. As you can see. Lots of, oh, this one's nice. Okay. So now let's see, it's gonna need a bucket of lava. You know what? We have freaking lava right here. Nice, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so material, stonework factory. Oh, it doesn't know how to, oh, and I don't have, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's in here, okay. I think I did that because I was worried it would replace it with something because I'm using this for the sticky pistons and I think I was worried it would use this. Um, so let's make an iron pick. Uh, iron pick. I don't think we have... St oh, we do. Okay. Material. This isn't one of those things we're going to have to make a lot of. So it's, it's fine. There we go. So it should. Material. Aha. So this, I think, so I, I stuck a resourceful furnace over here just because I was just trying to test, see um, what's faster. I think once we get this redstone furnace up to, you know, fully upgraded and stuff, it'll be faster than that. Uh, so this guy, we could just stick there. Let's pause it. Uh, so what we're going to want is we want sand. And I think that's it. I think we just want a bunch of sand. But we don't want, you know, the, the the system to fill up with sand. So let's see. We're going to put these upgrades in there. So speed one, energy one, energy speed. All right. So, but, we, you know, like I say, we don't want the, the system to fill up with it. Uh, so what do we need for a black hole? Oh, hole. Hole, hole. <laughs> Dang it. Black hole unit. What do we, okay, black hole, black hole unit. Do we have, I think we have, oh, I saw you, aha. All right, a couple of chesticle, a couple of, There we go. A couple chesticles. I probably had one in there. Aha. So we just need the frame, right? Perfect. 
black hole unit. Okay, sand. And then uh, storage. Do we have? We do. Storage bus. Nice. Okay. So we're going to bring this over here because this is where I want the sand to be, right? Uh, so if we stick this guy, I think we're just going to stick it right there. And then we'll sand, lock it, right? And then go, hopefully this works on the bottom. Uh, so we're going to partition. We're going to go up to 200. There we go. All right, so that should put all the sand there. So then if we import, let's get an imp ugh, an importer. Ah, let me, let me over. Okay. <laughs> All right, so import bus. There we go. Uh, let's get 10 of those. Start. Import. Uh, let's grab a cap card and some acceleration. Aha. So what we can tell this thing is I think it's going to make gravel. So we're going to need this to grind and grind, right? Aha. All right. So this one we want off. Nothing goes out there. Nothing goes out there. And this only goes out the top, right? Right. Oh, we need a uh, crap. Oh, wait, do we? No, we can just lower the whole thing, huh? Yes. Well, hmm. yeah, no, that should be fine. I think, I think. We go there, there, there. Aha, and we have one extra. Nice. Okay. Let me import bus. We go there. And then cap card and speed. Mm-hmm. All right, so that'll just get us a crap ton of sand. And then obviously the sand is for glass. Uh, that was one of the things that I was kind of running out of constantly, and I had to keep going over to the desert uh, to get sand. So that should be good. That's just going to run forever. Oh, actually, you know what? We need to check on our power. Uh, these, you know, these petrified generators are great. Um, I don't know that I really see them as long-term power. You know what I mean? Like, they're doing fine. I guess if, we, you know, we could just set up a row of these. Because I, I feel like our tree farm is good enough. And even if it's not, we can build another one. Or just make the one we have bigger. Right? So it just gets more tree. So it should be fine. I mean, this is, this is going at a decent speed. So I like it. All right. That's cool. And we, we I mean... Really, it's going to be going all the time. We don't need it to be going that fast. But why not? <laughs> we don't need it to go that fast. Doesn't mean it won't. All right. So that should be good. I'm digging this, man. We got we got some storage going on. We, got, we massively upgraded our storage. We got a bunch of sand coming in. We should see it from in the, in the system here. Nice. That's freaking awesome. Like, that is awesome. Fluid story. Go in. Wait, can I not put this in? Really? Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I apparently can't put that in storage. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that, but whatever. All right, so this guy is doing work. When he gets something, he he does stuff. Okay, so yeah, I think that that is good stuff right there. We did a thing. It is awesome. We've got tons of like auto stuff going on. Obviously, we'll set up some stuff, you know, like for the energized glowstone and then the you know, the liquid ender pearl, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. And then we'll have Enderium set up. Oh, is this Okay, no, that's working on silver, silver, tin. Yeah, so I sent, um, this one has three, had three things in it, and it got stuck on copper because I had this set to go out, but I only had the, <laughs> the duct going between these two. I didn't actually have it going over to the interface, and so it got stuck. And so it wasn't, you know, it didn't do much of the copper, and so I split the, you know, the silver between 
you know, I put the silver in this one and then the tin in this one. And then I was like, you know, and now it's working on silver. So we should be getting through the silver and stuff. And so the way that set up is just whenever that stuff comes into the system, it should just get cooked. Uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. But like I said, I didn't set that one up properly. If I had, it would have been through all that stuff already. So, um, and again, these will be, you know, all of this stuff will be upgraded. The system knows how to make Signalum now so we can get all of that we need. Wait, what do we need for the, let's see, upgrade, the Signalum upgrade. Oh, right. Ugh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a... That is a Snowball plus Essence, I think. Makes Cryothium Dust. Um, for some reason, the Fluid Transposer recipes don't show up in any eye. So, or J-E-I. Or what, what is this? It's, it's whatever it is. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see y'all next time.